So this video is going to be an in-depth guide on R deking in the new HACL game. Um, because I know a lot of people haven't played the old HACL game. And they might not be used to these R deeks yet. So I just want to make a, a guide on what, what they are, how to use them, um, and what type of scenarios you'll like be using them in. So how to actually R deek is pretty simple. Um, you just have to hold down the button R on your keyboard and then move your mouse in some direction and then release R and then it'll move you in that direction and do a little animation. Um, and there's different directions and they do different things. Um, so I'll be going over all of them and how to use them and when to use them. So the two basic ones are going to be to the right and to the left. These are a little like you use these as little speed boosts or as like momentum like changers because if you're trying to go left to right like really fast it's kind of slow but then these RTX are going to like help you out and these are also going to be inverted depending on if you're righty or lefty so it's just right will do this one and then left will do that one it's the same animation it's just inverted um, but I play righty so I'm just going to do it like that so there's right, there's left, and then there's right and left, like that. And there's also left and right. Oops. Oh, yeah, there you go. Left and right. Um, this is if you're coming down like this, and you want to fake going left and keep going right. Or vice versa, you want to fake going right, go left. Uh, I don't use that one too much, but it is useful in some scenarios. Um, another basic deke uh, you should all know is the toe drag, where you come down, down and to the right, or um, what I like to do is down and to the left, where you come over and it puts you an F automatically. I'm not even pressing F right now, it just does it. I like that aspect of it. You can just go around like someone like that. If you're ever coming in on someone, let's say they're like right there, they're coming in you like this. You could always just try to toe drag around them like that and then pull around to the goalie. That shot usually gets you an opportunity. RDX are really useful at creating your own shot. Um, I always like to come in here at the baseline and, and do some deke that'll, uh, that'll uh, fool them out. Um, another thing that you can do um, with these toe drags is you can go up and then down and then to the right or left. And it'll do this little reach out thing. That just kind of like looks weird. It kind of like throws the defender off. So you don't really know where you're going. Because you can kind of explode out of this in any direction. Like it's going to take you, depending on which one you do. Which one you do. Because you don't really know if, you're, if, you're, if your momentum is going to go to the right. Or to the left. Um, until last second. So it's kind of a guess. For the defender. So that one is pretty useful in some scenarios. Um, another one that is kind of a speed boost is up and to the left, which will do this windmill. Um, this was useful in old HSCL, but it's kind of I haven't really seen it get much use in the newer games. Maybe they'll change in the future. Who knows? My personal favorite geek. Um, I do this one all the time. It's the between the legs, where you don't go up and to the left. But you just go to the left and then down. This one is so good because you can change momentum so quickly. I always I always head up the wing like this or something like this. And then if the defender is trying to cut me off right here, I can always just switch momentum just like that and get a cut right into the middle while holding down F. Like I'm not even holding down F right now, it's just doing it automatically. I think it's just a quicker way to do the toe drag. Like the toe drag does kind of like the same premise as I'm doing um, with the between the legs deke. It just does it like a lot quicker. And I always, this is this is a trade move of mine. So if you're a defender watching this, bro, take note. Um, this is just a clip of mine of a goal I scored earlier today where I get the puck in the space line area over here and then I do my deke. And uh, the defender actually um, C blocks instead of rushes me, which is unusual. 
But even if he rushed me, he would have gotten deked. Um, and I would have had the straight lunge to the base. Because a lot of times you actually, like, you don't actually go down um, to the baseline that far. Because, like, the defenders don't usually expect you to do that. And finally, this last deke, I don't get seen um, used too often. Because I don't really know of a scenario where it'd be that useful. But it's down into, down and then up. And it's basically just a, t a toe kick. And this one looks cool and all, Oops. but like, it kind of just like, stops you. Like, it's kind of cool, but like, realistically, like, what did that do? Because like, the defender now, like, knows like, what you're doing, and it's like, kind of such like, a long deke. Where you're bound to just like, get ran into. Like, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm using it wrong, maybe I have to like... like I, think, I feel like that's how you're supposed to use it, you're supposed to like, kind of explode out of it which is kind of cool i don't know maybe maybe i'll start using that one more often because you do kind of get a, a bunch of man, you get a, you get a lot of boost right there bro maybe i must underestimate this one um another thing you should know is that you can actually like rd into a shot like if you release it um beforehand like if i'm clicking right now and then i rd and then i release it does it automatically at the end of the RD. Um, it actually it kind of takes a while. It, it kind of takes a second now, um, as opposed to the old HCL, where he like did it like really fucking quickly. It was kind of broken sometimes. All right, well that's all the deeks for right now. Kager might add some later. Um, but in review, there's to the right, to the left, to the right, then left, to the left, then right. Toe drag, toe drag with the crossover, and then the up and down toe drags like that. Oops. Um, windmill, toe kick, and crossover. That's all of them. Hope you guys enjoyed, and see you next time.